Dave, you remember when we graduated from high school? And then, shortly afterwards, most everyone started doing stuff. Like going to college or getting on with the rest of their life? Yeah, except, you know, I didn't go to college. Oh yeah, that's right. You've never been to college. Dave, I've worn this t-shirt three times a week for six months. And, for your information, I, I have been to a college. What? You took a wrong turn into a parking lot once? No, I applied to a college, but <coughs> wasn't accepted. And why weren't you accepted? When they asked me about my SATs, I told them how I spend my Saturdays. That's funny. You think so? I never thought of it that way. I... Damn. Almost. <laughs> SATs. <laughs> I don't know, man. I just can't help feeling like I missed out on something there, you know? I agree. No, I mean, you know, that's just the way it is in college. The way what is? You know, man, college girls, bing, bang, you're partying with a different chick in the dorm every night. I guess. I don't know, man, I really do wish I'd gone to college. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Actually, now that you mention it, I remember you saying, Dave, I don't want to go to college. So? How would I know without trying it first and flunking out like a normal person? Man, I could have partied my ass off, Dave, and learned absolutely nothing in the process. Well, actually, I did do that, but I was living at home. And you don't have a degree to prove it. That's a hilarious. Man, I'm writing that one down. Lee, what the hell are you talking about? Our comic strip, man. I told you about this a couple of months ago. Every time we say something funny, I write it down. That way we'll have a backlog of material when we get syndicated in newspapers all over the world. Boy, you really are a dreamer, Lee. Like your ideas are any better? What was that crap you were talking last weekend? Oh yeah, you said uh, we should try to capture Bigfoot for the reward. Hey, there have been a lot of reported sightings lately. Yeah, well I'm not really surprised at your lack of faith. You know, I'm pretty sure Debbie doesn't think I'm ever going to be a cartoonist either. Today's the day. I'm gonna ask that girl out. Oh, you've been saying that for weeks. Yeah, but this time I'm gonna do it. Yesterday, we had a moment. She kind of looked at me and smiled and licked her lips, kinda. Maybe she had something in her teeth. No, uh-uh. I smiled right back and then she gave me the look. She gave you the look. Absolutely. Dave, getting the look from a woman you don't know is like a, it's like a UFO sighting. There's no point in telling anyone, because they're not going to believe you anyway. Whatever. I'm making my move. All right. But you're going to need a wingman. Uh, I'm better on my own. You're better on your own? Yeah. What, like, you know women? Dave. I have a girlfriend. We live together. I think I'm going to fly solo on this one if you don't mind. Okay, sure. I got to go anyway. May the force be with you. Star Wars, you moron. <laughs> Debbie, I'm in the wrong apartment. I was robbed. I've been ripped off. That's it. That 
that's it, man. Got sick of you. Goodbye. Hmm. Oh. Come on down, price is so low, you'll think you're in another century. If you want service, you want us. Hey, the wait is over. Pick up your cup. No payments for 12 months. Don't wait. Oh, I hate this show. <sighs> Can't I even sit down and eat a meal? Dave! I know you're in there, man. Open up. Hey, Lee. How's it going? It's all over, man. What's all over? You know, me and... What's her name? Debbie? Yeah. She left me. I thought you told her it was over like a week ago. Maybe I did. But she didn't have to take everything. You mean she didn't have to take her stuff? Hey, I paid for half or part of some of that stuff. I come home, the entire apartment's empty. But you were only gone like a couple of hours. They must have come in like a SWAT team. Been planning this for months. Completely empty. Except for my stuff. It's in the car. I hope this is none of my business, but why did you bring all your stuff? She come looking for me. Brian! How's it going, Dave? Great. Hey, what's really going on? Uh shotgun. Nothing really. Just What are you doing with all that junk in your car? You making a dump or what? Yeah, I like going with dump. You know, you can get rid of all your undesirables and you can almost always find something we bring up. Well, Debbie and I broke up. I moved out. Wow, man. Wow. You know, that really takes me back. Forgive me for saying so, but I was never happier than when everything I owned was in the back seat of my car. Yeah, I guess there's some truth to that somewhere. Move it. Man, doesn't shotgun me anything anymore? You know what, Lee? It's all good. It's all good? Yeah, except for the bad stuff. Come on, guys! You're like slipping into a trance or something. I mean, it's Friday night! I'm not going anywhere, man. Forget that. I know you're feeling like a loser right now. Or maybe you are a loser. But you gotta put that behind you. When you get thrown off a horse, you get right back on. Yeah. But I wasn't thrown off a horse. I was kicked in the head. Guys, I can see where this is not going fast. I'm out of here. Listen, I don't think Lee's in the mood for one of our nights out. We'll see what you can do with him, alright? I'll try. See ya. Women, huh? Can't live with them? And you can't live with them. Uh-oh. What's wrong with this picture? Lee's depressed over a breakup. I'm here to cheer him up. Nice. Treating a depression with a depressant. Yep. Two cold ones? Sure. Oh, hey, man. How'd it go with the girl at the convenience store? Not so good. Thank you. She told me she was already dating two really nice guys and wouldn't want to cheat on either of them. That figures. Mm. 
think you guys would make it? Well, there's nothing like getting rejected by a new one to take your mind off the last one, huh? Back on the horse. Chin up, heels down. Okay. Don't feel too bad. It takes two people to screw up a relationship. Sometimes three. And you all need to get on with your lives. You know, I've been meeting a lot of women. Drunk in a bar? No. Supermarket. Yeah, that's... Wow. Oh, man. She is really hot. What was up for her to destroy my life? I'm gonna go talk to her. Later, guys. Is it the supermarket? Are you sure about this, man? Of course not. Holy underwear, Batman. Okay, here we go. Hi, beautiful. Let me know if you need somebody to check you out. Get the hell away from me! Could I interest you in a pot pie? Dude, that's cold. Yeah. Damn this low fat diet. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Uh, welcome to Ham Hula Burger. May I take your order? Two double cheeseburgers. Two large fries, and um, you gotta roll down the window first, man. I need uh, two double cheeseburgers, two large fries, and uh... hey, don't forget, we need two large diet colas with that. Hi, sir, the diet's not working. Oh yeah, well I don't think that's any of your damn business. I was talking about the drink machine, sir. Jesus, man, what are we doing? We have no money. No good jobs, no nice cars, and no beautiful women. Is this ever going to end? Sure it will. At least we don't have our health. Yeah, I can definitely see the light at the end of the tunnel now. I'm really sorry you're going through this breakup. This was not a breakup. It was a surgically precise strike with the coordinated efforts of countless individuals in an effort to avoid a single confrontation. Gutsiest move I've ever seen. Top Gun. Very good. Hey man, don't let this get you down. Everything works out for the best. Everything? What about the Titanic? Even the Titanic. Uh, they made that movie. It won 11 Academy Awards. You are so right, man. This is not just the end of a relationship, but the beginning of something new. We have to make the best out of this situation. What do you mean, we? Dave, just think about it. All the time we'd have. You and me, roommates, working together on one of our ideas. Whoa, wait a second. Roommates? No, we cannot be roommates. Come on, Dave. This is the opportunity of a lifetime for us. That's what I'm afraid of. You move in here, then you never move out. I'm serious, man. I think this is happening for a reason. Besides the fact your girlfriend left you on the day the lease expired? This is our chance to really focus on one of our ideas, like we've always talked about, man. All right, you can stay until I get the nerve to throw you out. All right!